everyone this is jane here from crystal sparkles readings just gonna put down our love reading for february for fire signs so aries um and leo and sagittarius so i'm just gonna be using the black and white faulkner deck as usual and this um, month, I've chosen the Lightseers Tarot for this reading. So let's just pop that down. And then I will put down a um, Lover's Oracle card to go with these. So um, I'm just going to turn over and see. I'm just looking at the lights just to make sure there's plenty of light there. You should be able to see that. Okay. Just that Lightseers is quite dark against the um, thingy. So, for the um, month of February, for our fire signs, we've got the Four of Wands to start with. This is fantastic because the Four of Wands is all about being able to just kind of chill out, relax. Um, as you can see, put your feet up. In terms of a um, love reading, the Four of Wands is great because the Four of Wands talks about having a, a nice time with somebody having um having fun relaxing it talks about celebrations around a kind of family environment it talks about that kind of energy so it's really good strong positive energy time wise it talks about a period of four weeks so if you are um looking to move something forward or you're um you're in that energy of um what's are we going to be able to move forward move forward together or is there going to be contact all of that stuff talks about a four week period of really good strong positive energy so it's a really really nice one for a love reading for us to start with the other card that i've got here is hierophant i love this hierophant um sometimes when you look at the hierophant card in tarot it can be a really serious card um so it's um it can be a bit kind of oppressive, whereas this Hierophant is just beautiful. So, you know, as you can see, it's like um, this kind of stairway to heaven, I guess. It's that kind of connection with the spirit world, the connection with the divine. What I would say is that both of these cards have a very, very strong connection to marriage. So if what you've been asking about is, is there a proposal coming? Is there a marriage coming? Is there um, commitment, moving in together? All of those things um, would come up with the Four of Wands and they would come up with the Hierophant. Um, the Hierophant certainly talks to me about marriage. Um, so, you know, if you're a fire sign and you've got a wedding planned um, and I've got someone very specific in my mind while I'm talking about this, this is a good month to get stuff done because um, a good friend of mine is planning a wedding currently so it's a really really fantastic month to get things done february traditionally it's it's the month where valentine's day it's all about love and all of that stuff but more to the point the wands cards are action-based so it's a really great time to get things done um if you've got things on your list of stuff you need to tick off to get done in time for your wedding it's a great month for really working towards getting that done. Don't forget to tune in to Spirit because they will help you to get things moving. Um, so it's a really, really great card in, in terms of, um, of energy to move things forward. Um, really great love cards. I just want to put down, I'm being just told to put down a Brian card. Um, so I'm going to do that as well as put down the Oracle card that I'll put down in a sec. But I just got put down a Brian because my guide's kind of saying put down a Brian. So I'm going to do just that. Let's just have a look and see what Brian has to add to the party. Believe in yourself. So, you know, you absolutely can attract the right thing in for you. If you've been worrying that you can't or worrying that you haven't, you absolutely can. This is more about believing in yourself um, and enabling that energy to come in when we doubt ourselves we don't believe in ourselves and we don't believe in spirit we don't believe it's very very hard for the universe to give us what we want it's a bit it's a bit like if you're trying to teach a kid 
um, to do something and they just don't believe they're ever going to be able to do it. You know, how many people got on that bike the first time and thought, you know what, I'm just going to be able to ride this. It's going to be easy. You know, we wobbled around. We had the trainer um, stabilizers. We had our dad or our mum running, running along behind us, holding the saddle. We had to learn, um, but we had to believe that we could do it. We had to trust. We had to trust that they had the saddle. We had to trust in the stabiliser. We had to trust in the bike. We had to trust in ourselves to be able to balance. But we learned to do it um, because we believed in that. So fantastic card. Don't forget to believe in yourself. Just going to have a little shuffle of this. Um, I love this Lover's Oracle deck. Um, it's very difficult to shuffle because it's heart shaped for one. And also it's difficult to get one that you don't know that you're going to get because it has images on one side and words on another. Um, so you kind of already get what you're going to get before you've got what you're going to get, if that makes sense. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to split the deck and take one. Okay, so it says, imagine all your unwanted thoughts dissolving into light. Create room for new opportunities and possibilities in your life. So again, this goes great with believing in yourself. Um, you know, just imagine how great life would be if you didn't have all those doubts, all those concerns, all those all those nagging things. Oh, you can't do this because of that and you can't do this because of that. Imagine what that would be like. Well, you can create that for yourself by just unlearning what we've learned in life we kind of learn these doubts we don't start off with those doubts when we're little we grow and we learn them so you know aside from the positivity of things like learning the bike we also learn that things do happen where you know we fall off and and that and then we create doubts and as we get older and older we create more and more of those doubts we're less trusting we believe in ourselves less um so just imagine what it would be like if you could just make room for the fantastic things that are coming in. So that's the love reading for this month for Fire Signs. I'll be back again um, shortly to do the um, Earth Signs. So I'll speak to you then. If you wouldn't mind giving the video a thumbs up, a like and a share and a subscribe, really, really helps the channel. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.